Welcome back to another toy review with me. Me. Today we're looking at the Star Wars Raftar and Bellatic. This is a little toy set released in 2017, part of the Force Link 2.0 range. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box now. First up, we've got the character here, Bellatig. He was this dude in The Force Awakens who says, Tell that to Kanji Club. You may remember him, or maybe you don't. In any case, here he is. We'll be taking a better look at him later. Let's see what else we got here. Included is a bunch of instructions and the Raftar creature itself. All right, let's go ahead and get the character action figure out of the packet. He's neatly packed in there. This is a toy. This is made by Hasbro. Bellity comes with this little blaster rifle that fits in his hand like a so. Now he's ready to fight for his life against Raftar. Taking a look at the detailing on the figure, it's not too bad. The articulation is only five points. Kind of basic, but there you go. Nothing terrible. The head also moves, but I don't really want to turn it because it's kind of an older toy. I got this on a really cheap discount. I think it was about eight pounds, eight euros. Something really cheap, dude. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for this. Anyway, let's go ahead and see Raftar, kind of the main article here. You got all this calamari. Hmm. Stand up, Bellatic. He's not going to stand up. We're just going to lay him down over there, out of the way. And then you've got this kind of weird looking creature, Raftar. Reminds me of a Cthulhu type thing. That's half of the reason that I wanted to buy this, is just to have a Cthulhu-looking monster that I could put in the background somewhere. There he is. So, like you see, like it's got this gaping mouth. You can make it eat your other figures. And then you've got all these tentacle arms, which you'll have to attach in individually. Now that we've got all of the arms out on the table, we're ready to assemble Raftar, and Bellatique is looking forward to that. Over here, we've got the instruction manual that tells us exactly which one goes where. They're all marked with letters. This is where it shows you how to use the force link and how to eat your finger, I guess. We'll be getting around to that when we get around to that. And here's Raftar halfway done. Getting these arms to stay on is not the easiest thing in the world. I kind of had to twist them to get them to stay in, and then they just kind of pop out like this, so. I managed to do all of them here. This kind of took a while, my dudes. And it's really fragile. You don't dare want to touch it. And while screwing in these arms, while trying to get them to plug in, you're constantly knocking them off. And look, even when I try to set it down on the table right here, there goes one. So let's go ahead and fix that. Here he is again. Raftar. Take a little look at the details. There you can see the letters outlined on each individual arm. And if we put him down again, let's put him down in frame. And he just, it won't, it won't, one of them is always going to fall off. And usually more than one, you know. So. That's not going to work. Cutting to another day. And here we are again. This time Raftar 
is totally fine. And guess why? Loctite super glue. Yes, we actually had to go out and get some glue to make sure these things all stay in, because otherwise they're just not. And maybe your quality control is a little better than the one example that I had. But now it seems to be absolutely fine. So, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like that. Loctite, yeah. Fix everything. Now let's take a more detailed look at Bellatique over here. He is sure happy that Raftar is all together, or is he? Probably not, because he's about to get eaten. Once again, with that classic Hasbro five-point articulation, it's what you come to expect. Here's his blaster rifle again, which looks like some kind of bolt-action? Bolt-action blaster. It's a little weird. That's more the World War II Star Wars influence. Let's go ahead and put that in his hand a like so. And now he's ready to do battle with the Raftar, or just run the heck away because it's freaking Raftar and you ain't got no chance. This is what he looks like getting eaten. And he can be hanging out minding his own business when suddenly Rafter comes out of frame and snatches him away for a dinner. So now I'm gonna pair Rafter up against Godzilla. Here he is for size comparison. This is a Playmates Toys Godzilla. I've always gotten sitting around here, so easy to scale. Stage your giant kaiju fights. I'd also highly recommend you to have some kind of super glue sitting around if you're gonna get this set. Here's a coin for a size comparison once again. And here's a Hot Wheels card. It's kind of a large one. Let's go ahead and get that out of the box. See how that scales up against Raftar. And he doesn't want to be anywhere near it. He's going to drive away. You know what? Kick that thing in reverse gear. I don't blame him. Nope. You do not want to stay near Raftar, do you? Get over there. All right. Go like this. It's kind of a large hot wheel. So here's a matchbox. Kind of a regular size car for scale. And there they are. Hanging out all together. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at Raftar. Let's get a few more close-up camera angles like that. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back with some more toy reviews later on. If you like this video leave a like and leave a comment and I'll see you next time.